Hi, Ronnie here. Kirby at you with the video. I mentioned in the last video about the uh, Underworld movies, which I think is this wonderfully uh, silly sort of mishmash of uh, horror movie tropes or certain tropes, vampires and werewolves, and sort of full on action. And when I say full-on action, I'm, I'm meaning action that has been certainly influenced more by Blade and The Matrix rather than, you know, sort of Rambo and Commando and things like that. Um, and it always makes me think about uh, the mixing of genre. As I said in the other video, horror can go into pretty much any genre. Um, I mean, yeah, you ask most people for some of their favourite horror movies. And they will talk, you know, sooner or later, uh, Alien will come up in conversation. The Thing, John Carpenter's film, will come up in conversation. Um... Event Horizon comes up in conversation. And then, you know, it, you look at the way that RPGs are mixing genre. And I love that. Um, I think it's one of the reasons why I really enjoy... Um, the generic systems I have, like True Twenty and um, Savage Worlds, that you can mix and match uh, genre. There's nothing stopping you from running, uh, say, a sci-fi game. And I've always wanted to try this: running a sci-fi game. And people landing on a, a, a planet, an uncharted planet. And at that point, you pretty much whip out the map from one of the big campaign settings from D&D &D or whatever, or even a, a campaign setting from uh, for Savage Worlds. I love the idea of... Um, there's a couple of good... Um, sci-fi uh, settings for Savage Worlds. Uh, High Space is one last power sec I've used, um, which is a good sort of generic. And I like the idea of a group of explorers landing on a planet, an uncharted planet, check it out. And it's Shintar. And the heroes find themselves, you know, your, your players find themselves in this huge high fantasy setting you know your spaceship gets attacked by a feckin dragon and things like that and that's doable that's very doable actually um one of the reasons i like castle falkenstein is it's our world, it's, well, technically our world, uh, our Victorian age, but steampunk. It's all that sort of, the science fiction of the period. Um, and fantasy elements as well, it's got right old, and horror elements, it's got right old mishmash in there. Run out of with it. And... Yes, there is there there there, there is a, a a case to be made that you can take pretty much any RPG and shove another genre in it. I remember when I first got started, I I I, I used the old Beck Me D and D system to run a game of uh, Call of Cthulhu. It has to be said that it was a bit of a disaster, mostly because I wasn't well versed with the system. Uh, DD that is and two 
I was basing my version of Call of Cthulhu simply on the setting, i.e. the 1920s, because I had never seen or played the system. The only thing I'd seen was a couple of scenarios um, that White Dwarf had, had done. And that was my only knowledge of the system. So as you can imagine, I made a right pig's ear of it. Um, actually, White Dwarf did a very interesting two-part crossover with AD&D. Um, um, I think it was second edition. It might have been first. Um, and Call of Cthulhu. Where the players were playing both, or you could have two groups, I suppose. One were playing players in Cthulhu, one were playing players in uh, AD&D. &D. And they end up going to this portal and crossing over. Um, interesting idea. Not sure it works completely, but I'm running it. And it was one of those ones you could run it entirely as just an AD&D &D scenario or just a Cthulhu scenario. Um, or, you know, go the whole hog and do both. And I love, I, I love the idea of doing multiple genres. I, I think the worst thing we can do as GMs is limit ourselves. And whilst I do think uh, any rule system can be used to run pretty much anything, uh, some do it better than others. Undeniably, some do it better than others. Um, it's just the nature of the beast. And I think there's nothing wrong with with getting, you know, mixing genres as long as it works. And as long as you've got a rule system that really helps it. I mean, I think one of the most famous kind of mix of genres is probably Shadowrun, which is a mix of cyberpunk and fantasy tropes. I've tried two different versions of, of uh, the, the Shadowrun rules and I can't stand them. I think they're an absolute, they just, they just don't work for me. There's just far too much fiddliness with it. I ran a cyberpunk game. Uh, it's a site called Interface Zero for Savage Worlds. And while cyberpunk is not a genre that I am as confident in as others, uh, the system worked really well for it. Now, there is absolutely nothing stopping me from taping, taking Interface Zero and adding... Uh, adding elements from the fantasy, the Savage Worlds Fantasy Companion, into it. Using Interface Zero as the, the setting and just adding fantasy races into it and just, you know, dealing with, with, with those anomalies and coming up with house rules to deal with the anomalies. And I could do a game... Not a point-for-point -point remake of Shadowrun. Uh, I don't see the point in that. But do an approximation of it. Take the basic premise, get to the spirit of it, and run with it. I love the idea of, 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 of mixing genres. I, I don't think we should re restrict ourselves as, uh, as gamers at all. Um... And it's just, I, I personally think it's a fantastic expansion of our world. And it doesn't really matter, ultimately. Um, when I say 
some systems handle the situation better than others. I think most people would agree with that, but most people would probably disagree as to which systems work and which systems don't, because everyone has the one that works for them. You know, I think Savage Worlds works really well. There'll be others who will, will think other games work better, like uh, Fate. Uh, Fate has a lot of fans. Uh, and I'm, I, I, I've said before, I'll play Fate, I just won't run it. Um, I find it too fiddly. But I... Um, I'm I'm I think we should do more of it as gamers. Play around with our imagination. I mean heck I'm I'm running a, a fantasy game for my, my daughter and uh her fiance and friends. Uh and it's it's not using it's using Savage Worlds and the, the sort of core books rather than a, a fantasy setting. And because it's nearly, it'll be nearly Christmas at the time I'm running it, um, even though they've got established characters, I'm running a festive episode. Because um, it's going to be silly. I don't think there's anything wrong with having a bit of silliness in a game. Uh, I just enjoy it. So what about you guys? What genres do you like to mix and match, if at all? Or do you like to keep them very regimented and pure and not have them uh, sort of melt into each other? Let me know. And thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.